Hi, welcome to the Gav's Diet. Here's some prep that we did to give us a head start. We have lots of chicken cooked and some yogurt straining and fermenting. So we'll freeze the chicken broth and the yogurt so we can continue to have that and also keep some in our freezer. How do you feel about starting the diet today? Bad. Mm. Why do you feel bad? Let me get up. I feel good because it's little soup. You feel good because you're eating soup? Mm -hmm. So you don't feel bad? No. No. You hate the broccoli? <laughs> you like the broth? Why is your shirt inside out, Buster? <laughs> you didn't even know. That. What do you think about eating soup, Dominic? Do you like soup? Huh? You're eating nothing. That's how you feel about it? You're excited? Why are you excited? Because I've never done it before. Mm. How do you think you're going to feel in a few days? Terrible. Really? What are you going to do if you feel terrible? I don't know. You're going to call the terrible police. I think you'll go rest, maybe? That would help you. I take some extra Dad, yeah, don't even say that. Julie, how do you feel about starting this diet? <laughs> the the yeah? The what do you feel good the about? Mm. You love these soups, don't you? You've been trying to steal mine when I was sick. <laughs> Mary? How do you feel, baby? How do you feel about soup? You like soup? Soup. Yeah? Say good. You were looking for bananas this morning, weren't you? <laughs> How do you feel about... <laughs> okay. How do I feel about what? Starting this diet. Uh, so, uh, so I did, hopefully, uh, my arm and, or my uh, elbow and my joints, my back, start feeling better. Um, I know I'll be tired and miserable to, and hungry in the next three days, but I'm excited. Good. The, the lady at the grocery store today said, are you shopping for a restaurant? And I said, no, I'm shopping for my six children. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I slept. I said seven and then six. Which one's right? That's the question. Well, You're I'm feeding. for two, so I, should, I was right the first time, so I should get back to the same color. <laughs> you have to anyway. You get the wrong onions. Just had to get that on the video. Can you smile one time? Smile. So on day two of the GAPS diet, I made sure I did laundry yesterday or the day before. We have a bath station for foot baths and regular baths. We're going to rotate baking soda, apple cider vinegar, and um, Epsom salt, fragrance-free. We have some activities. Dad built the pendulum clock with them, and we're going to do the volcano. And organized seeds over here I have all my gaps diet books my menu plans and different ideas I got from watching videos online um, this one's been especially helpful and that one set up a foundation for me to understand things this is my meal planning and my calendars uh, over here I have my stuff, my bowls. We're trying to reuse bowls so everybody, we don't have as many dishes. And we have our salts and our probiotic. I had put some sauerkraut juice in this bowl from our current sauerkraut. And I have two more ferments. One is sauerkraut, one is onions and carrots. That'll be ready in about seven days to three weeks, and this will be ready in th like closer to three months or six weeks. Um, we have our broth, just hot broth in the crock pot for everybody to come ladle into their cups. This is whey from yogurt I made. We might give that to the dogs because we have plenty of ferments, and we'll be adding fermented dairy soon. 
blenders out for blended soups. Lots of Himalayan sea salt or pink salt and then almond butter for when we're ready. Mineral water. And then everybody's drink cups. We're gonna try to keep them over here so the counters don't get crazy. This is our Berkey water filter that I've been filling up constantly because I use almost the whole bottom of it when I make broth. And then we have broth cooking over here. I've been putting two chickens. Oh, is this supposed to be the end of the water? And some feet in. Might need to put more water in there. And cooking it for two to three hours. This is what we had for breakfast. I separated onions out because I think onions are um, giving me a hard time breathing. They can cause you to release mercury, which I used to have amalgam filling, so I think that's flaring me up. This is the ghee I made. We're going to introduce that soon. This is lard. We have a whole refrigerator full of lard that I've rendered because that's just part of how we usually eat. And then peppercorns. And then we have our garlic and onions down here that we put in soups. Come here, baby. We cannot eat the peppercorns yet. And then some vegetables. I need to get rid of those potatoes. These are eggs from the past few days with our chickens, all of our teacups, and um, avocados that are ripening. We can't eat these yet, probably for five to seven more days, but we're going to let some ripen, and then when we're ready, we'll pull them out of the refrigerator. This is mint tea, or mint leaves, from our garden, and then... Of course, we still have our coffee and oats and sugar out. Um, I might use the sugar to make some apple scrap vinegar soon. Let's go slow. You can kind of see the, the general setup where the honey is. Next to that clay pot, there's a, uh, what is that called? coffee pot, I guess, I forget what they're called, um, that we made mint tea, and it'll keep it really hot, so when somebody feels like they need some mint tea, they can come get themselves some. And then I just pour the mint, or the hot water, into this. Now I happen to have this little mesh sieve, so I put that on there and then dump this into this container and get all the leaves out. Uh, let's see, we have extra towels laying around. These are all the lids from the jars, but we're cleaning the jars, so I'm just going to leave those out so I can make more broth for the next few days. pile of stuff I need to organize. And then our table, of course, everybody's bowls and other drinking cups. We are using about two gallons of broth a day for a family of six, maybe even more, with all the stuff we're putting in soups. There's a whole bunch of broth in here. This lid, of course, broke. <laughs> the handle broke, so it's kind of unsafe, but it works for now. Good. Well, my legs were hurting and sh I was shaking when I was, um, when I was coming, gonna come down the steps. And then I just decided just to sit and rest for mm -hmm. a little and lay down. And this was all when you woke up this morning? Yes. And then when did you start feeling better? When I woke up, because I went back to, I went back to sleep, and then I woke up, and then I felt better. Oh, good. So your body kind of fixed itself. Yeah, your skin looks really healthy right now. <laughs> what do you, how do you feel about all the food today? I didn't really want to eat, because mm. it was gross. It gross, or you're just tired of eating it? What's gross about it? It's chicken soup, right? With egg yolks. Yeah, did you try it? You didn't try it? You haven't eaten awesome. today? Yeah. 
never. I'm only drunk. What have you drunk? A mint tea and a broth. And you're not hungry? I am. A little. Are you going to eat soon? Maybe. I don't know. Okay. Can you tell me how you were feeling this morning? My legs hurt. I was shaking. You felt shaky. I didn't see you shaking, but you felt shaky. And my belly hurt. Mm -hmm. and then what'd you do? I took a long nap. And did, you, did you drink a little of something? I drank um, soup. And I oh, you did have soup? No. Some broth. And, told you so. and I had honey water. Honey water. And then you went back to sleep and you just woke up and it's 12 afternoon. <laughs> and you feel, how do you feel now? Awesome. You feel awesome? It's just my legs hurt a little bit. Do they? Okay. <laughs> how are you feeling today? Good. Yeah? My how many? Belly, my, my belly was hurting, but now I feel good. Yeah, cause you. How much did? What did you eat this morning? Soup and uh, how six bowls. Six bowls of chicken, chicken, not four, chicken noodle. Four bowls. Was it four? Yeah, you were hungry. Are you hungry now? Yeah. You are. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. What are you doing? Oh, well, that's cool. Mom, can you give me some? Oh, hey, you you What's hurting you? Hey. He's waiting outside for you. Hey, Mom. Your tongue? You don't think it's because you're eating too much ice? No. And your fingers are cold, too? No. No. Oh, you just like that ice, huh? Whoa. Are you hungry at all? Yeah? Do you think we should get you some broth or soup? Uh-uh. No, you just want ice right now? How do you feel today? Good. Good? Did you eat your soup for breakfast? Yeah? Did you like it? Yeah, just no broccoli. You don't like broccoli. The green stuff. Yeah. Not the green stuff. Okay. Are you going to go back outside and play? Mm -mm. Oh, you're just going to eat your ice? Okay. Can I see your smiles? Can, you don't want to smile? Okay. <laughs> How are you guys doing today? Terrible. Terrible? Uh -huh. Oh, I'm still in good. Awesome. Eating a lot. Uh -huh. Awesome. You're doing awesome, even though you didn't eat lunch? You only had broth all day? Yeah? Okay. These two are the shaky girls. <laughs> but you're feeling okay now. You make sure you get something good to eat before dinner. Dad's had a headache today. Mary hasn't stopped whining. Oh, you see her runny nose from crying all day. Mary. Oh. Oh. Stop. Oh. And then we got little D. How are you doing? Good. Good? You finally eating. Is that helping you feel better? Hi. Mary. Look. Is eating helping you feel better? Do you like sitting in mommy's lap? Does that help you? Yeah. Mom. You like the broth out of that? Is that what you're I doing? need broth. Look. Look at this, Mom. What is that? Piece of fat? Yeah. Oh, you just eat it like that? You like that? <laughs> I ate so many pizzas. Oh, good. Keep eating it. Yeah. It's good for you. You can't tolerate it? Mm -hmm.